I think Quad is trying to take credit for bringing Phaedra to this group. What do do with that, y'all? This is your girl, Sajay Craziness. Craziness. I'm coming to you, 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 and you with another Word on the Street segment. Make sure you like, come subscribe, and share this video. So, Dr. Heavenly, she is debunking Quad and insinuating that she got Miss Phaedra Parks on Married to Medicine. Okay, now, if you remember in um sunday last sunday's episode when quad said this miss parks let's remember how you got in the group on some real shit. and i was like hold up wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute are you trying to say that you got what you call it on the show fey fey fee fee phaedra you trying to say you got phaedra on the show but the other lady said mm -mm, that ain't no nah, that wasn't the case if that's what you're trying to say quad no nah, that is not the case <laughs> Yeah, let's remember for real. <laughs> what is? I, yeah, I didn't get that. I didn't get it either. I was like, how did she get in the group? Yeah. <laughs> As an introduction. I think Quad is trying to take credit for bringing Phaedra to this group. That's what I think that she was trying to say. But we all knew Phaedra before this, and she didn't bring Phaedra to this group, because I believe when she first came in... Y'all established a relationship. Right. Exactly. Right. Right. And of course... Phaedra didn't say anything. She just got on her little glasses and smiling and, yeah, girl, and, ooh, oh, not on the Sunday. You know, just saying the little minor things. It ain't like the Phaedra we know, which brings me to what Carlos King had to say about how Phaedra, you know, it was this big thing. Ooh, Phaedra going to be back on Bravo, even though she was slightly getting back inch by inch on Bravo with her being on the Ultimate Girls trip. But actually on a staple black all cash show, yeah. So we can get the tea from her cup, okay, of what's going on in her personal life. Because, you know, she just been private. Well, no, she really ain't been private because she been on a couple of TV shows. And then she had, you know, um, a boyfriend here and there. I don't know if it was just for the show or that was for real, for real. Because I think she went on that, uh, it's marriage boot camp. But I think it was something else for them. Because I don't think they got married. But anyways, I'm going off tangent. But it brings me to Carlos King when him and Heavily was on YouTube Live talking about the episode. And he had his concerns about why we don't see nothing going on in Phaedra's life. It's all about Quad. <laughs> you know, and she ain't trying to be in the middle and stuff like that. So, like, what's really going on? Like, you know, what about Apollo? How their relationship? Co-parenting. You know, we want to see stuff like that. Or, hell, what the hell happened with real housewives of atlanta like what all went down we want to know some stuff like what's trying to find the bread what's what's going on and baby did we get our answer we got our answer plus more check out what dr heavily said now do you want the truth or you want the truth i only want the truth nothing but the truth so help you god right when I first started, I wanted to ask about all of that housewife stuff. I ain't going to say no names, but Candy, I wanted to ask. Phaedra broke down and was like, this is a different show. We're not talking about that. She called the network. It was a big whole thing. She didn't want to talk about that. So what are you? What am I to do? I can't ask you if they what don't did you, What ask, did you ask I her? Ask, right? What did you ask Phaedra that made her run to the network, allegedly, and to the production well, company? Well, now you going to get me in trouble, but this is what it was. I never asked her. I told her beforehand, maybe I messed up. But I said, listen, this is what the people want. Before you walk in this here, I'm going to ask you these questions. She hooped and hollered. The people told me not to leave it alone. They say, don't scare bitch off. That's what they told me. Now, they did everything to get Phaedra. I think she's great TV, but I also think she's very smart. You didn't get nothing this season. I mean, you might get some other stuff later, but she's saving it. Like, okay, where the kids at? Okay, now, that emoji face was a real man, per I do think he was. It fell flat because they broke off before... The, and we started filming during the time that he did his casting tape. They still wanted her. They knew it. No, because they, they wanted her for the marketing purposes, which I understand. 
I know all about casting somebody for marketing. Trust me, right. I, I get it. But what I'm saying to you as a fan is we need to see more than mm-hmm, yes, child, and and ooh, honey. Are we are we going to see that eventually? Are we going to see her talk to you guys about Apollo? You're gonna have to wait and see, Carlos. I can't tell you that now. No. So I take it as a hell no, but I could be wrong. They might be saving something. Like uh, Dr. Heavily said, she might be saving it for the end. I don't know, but it's giving you a friend of the cast. Yep, mm-hmm, you a friend of the cast. You and Quad. And <laughs> y'all just did what y'all could, okay? Also, Carlos had brought up, you know, Phaedra being brought in by Quad. And Dr. Heavily said, uh-uh, no ma'am, no sir, that is not... We ain't gonna run with that narrative. That is not what happened. Quad brought Phaedra on the show, and then no, no, she will lead you to believe that what happened was Qua Phaedra was at Bravo Watch, um, Bravo Con one year, right? There was on a panel, Jackie, I think some other people, and Jackie asked her, What are you up to? She said, I'm dating a doctor. So Jackie says to Phaedra, why don't you come hang out with us sometimes? Somebody heard that Michael them started calling her to get her casted, right? Because everybody wanted Phaedra because they feel like she was the face. We don't get none of the Housewives rating, I mean, you know, pub. So we were hoping that they were hoping that Phaedra would bring that pub. Lo and behold, when Kawhi got word of this is what I heard, this is what I believe. Quad jumped on and said, hey, I know Phaedra. Now, they were cool. They hung out before, but they wasn't like bosom buddies. Like, you know what I'm saying? So Quad tried to say, hey, do this, do this, get it in. Phaedra was in at the door. Phaedra said hello, and it was going to let her in. Quad did not bring that girl to the show. Them people wanted Phaedra, and they bent all kind of rules to get that bitch on our show. Well, for me, my personal opinion baby girl is just collecting a free check <laughs> they put her face out there to market this show and here it is this is what we gonna give y'all but we really ain't gonna give y'all that you know they love doing that putting this stuff out and then like they did with real housewives of land they put a clip out and they didn't even put it in the season it was just for a trailer i'm like what the hell so yeah it's kind of frustrating you be expecting that because that's how they draw you into this stuff but no um, and as far as Quad goes, they kind of used her too, but she used them too. She was like, Hey, if you want me for this storyline, you're gonna have to pay me something, and we don't know what it is. But heavily, you know, talked about that how she cussed people out in the production, how she was trying to figure out why this person getting it. Like, whoa, but y'all tell me what y'all think about this in the comment section below. And you know, I'm gonna see you on the next one. There's a lot Ooh. going on um, from Phaedra being on the show, too. I do. I Actually, I was skeptical at first, to be honest. I did not know what Phaedra was going to bring to the table, how it was going to fit with you girls. And I really do like her being on the show. I don't know how you feel about it, um, but I do think it as a just a it's like a wild card. Right. It is. Um, if you want my opinion, honestly, one thing about Dr. Hemley, she does not like weak. Phaedra came on and she's strong as hell. Okay. Smart, intelligent, educated, witty, bossy. I like smart people. So if the people wanted me not to like her, or some people did, I love, I live for Phaedra Parks. I really do. I think she brings okay. something in. She's not trying too hard. She mm -hmm. fit right in. She wanted a girl. She wanted a homegirl. She know how to shade. She just like quiet when I say something, she catch it and she throw it right back at me. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love her. I, I think she's amazing for our show. Seriously. Uh, As, some people said we need her. Now, we didn't need her. We The cake was already made. However, a little icing ain't never hurt anyone.